Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Dave from MyGunValues.com and today I'm going to do something that a lot of you are going to find redundant and boring, but I think it needs to be done anyway. And all of you keep in mind, you didn't know at some point in time. Um, you know, we all have to be told or we all have to find things out on our, t on our own. Um, I was at a gun show recently. And a guy walked up to my table, and he wanted a price of a gun he didn't have with him, of course. And he said it was a lever-action Winchester 1855. Now, for the, those of you who don't know, Winchester did not come into existence as a brand until 1866. Then that was their first model, the 1866. There is no Winchester 1855. If you want to go back through New Haven and Volcanic Arms, uh, there may very well have been a Volcanic built in 1855, but it, you know Oliver Winchester wasn't even in the picture then. So it, you know, I knew he didn't have an 1855. So as I go along here, I'm gonna we'll get to what he actually had but for those of you who don't know a lever action simply means in, in for, for purposes of the mygunvalues.com website and for any other definition a lever action simply means that when you work the lever and open the action okay when you do that it'll eject a cartridge and the, this this case this is an 1895 Winchester um, it ejects out the top, or ejects out the side, or ejects out the bottom, or whatever it does. Okay, then there's, in the case of this one, there's a magazine down here. And the 1895 will hold Spitzer bullets. And it as you close it, the bolt, this is a bolt, strips the next cartridge from the magazine, close it up, she's ready to fire. Hammer's back, okay. That's a true lever action. But there are guns with levers that are not lever actions. So I want to go over those real quick. Okay, we'll take this and we'll set it out of the way. It'll bring this up. Now this gun was in a video years ago. And you see a lever down there. So you think lever action. But, you open it, the action breaks open. The lever simply breaks the action open. A lot of, most single shot shotguns that are break action will have a thumb lever here on the tang, or maybe one on the side of the action. But for the purposes of the MyGunValues.com valuation website, this is a break action shotgun, even though it uses a lever. Um, for those of you who are interested, this is a, an 1866, or excuse me, 1966 Ithaca Long Tom. This used to belong to my father-in-law. He used to shoot a uh, trap with it, and this thing is a deadly accurate trap gun. 36-inch uh, barrel. It's not really suited for skeet or sporting clays because it takes a little while to get that swing going. But for trap, these things are. This gun is just absolutely wonderful, and. You do have to cock the hammer manually after working the lever. It doesn't actually do anything. The lever doesn't do anything but break the action open. So, then we're going to come up with this one. Now, you guys have all seen this one if, you've watched, if you watch our videos regularly. You'll see there's a lever here. Those of you who are into firearms know full well this is a Ruger number one. You grab the, you push down a little thumb release here, open the lever. And you have the breech block drops down back there. Push the lever up, the breech block snaps up. Okay, and this model, most falling blocks simply eject or uh, extract the cartridge. You guys use your thumb to pull it out. The Ruger number one has a built-in ejector. As as far as I know, it is the only widely available falling block action with an ejector. So. You know, another uh, testament to the genius of Bill Ruger. 
This one's the 375 H&H that I did some reduced loads on, oh, six, eight months ago. But this 375 H&H, &H, this is a lever action. Okay, this is what the guy walked up to me and he said he had an 1855 lever action. Well, once I started quizzing the guy, it turned out it was a single shot gun and I said, okay, if you, if you work the lever, does the breech block drop down behind it? He said, well, yeah. I said, okay, you have a model 1885. Now, he didn't want to believe me, but the Winchester 1885 was built from 1885 to 1918. They were chambered in virtually any cartridge you can imagine. Now, his, he claimed, was chambered in 3240. Well, that right there tells you that it couldn't be an 1855 because the 3240 cartridge did not come into being in the Winchester fold until 1894. It did exist earlier than that as a Marlin cartridge, but not way back in 1855. In 1855, at, at, and I'd have to look at my dates before I get this wrong, but, you know, you're right on the cusp of rimfire self-contained ammunition back in that era you certainly didn't have anything as big and long as a 3240. So I wanted to do this intro video. What I'm going to be doing the next several weeks I'm going to start an identification series and we're going to start with Winchester and Marlin. Um, you know Winchester's obviously the more well-known but Winchester still gets misidentified a lot. Um, the nice thing about Winchester is, with the exception, with, with a couple of exceptions, each cartridge family was only chambered in one model lever action. And Marlin had a couple each, but Winchester only had one each except for the 1873 and the 1892. I'll be doing a lot of this with pictures. Um, the I don't have all the guns on hand and I'm not going to go buy them for YouTube videos so I'll do a lot with pictures so that you can see the difference in them and it'll probably be a, a you know a good multi-part series and I may depending on what the feedback is I may start doing a full series on other types of firearms um, one that I personally would love to get more information on is Sears. Sears, of course, was built by somebody else. And, but, you know, in, in all cases, Sears didn't build anything themselves. They bought the companies that made it, or they bought it from companies that made it. I have never been able to find say a sear set of Sears microfish from say 1982, 83, 84. They quit selling firearms in 1985 and they were still all on microfish at the time. I would love to get my hands on a set of Sears microfish to determine what model had what features. Um, Sears for instance had the uh, their their model series, their first three are a, they're the supplier number. For instance, in the appliance world, um, which I know well, unfortunately, the 106 prefix was used for Whirlpool refrigerators. There are many prefixes for firearms manufacturers. But the thing is, a Sears model number may be 210, period. There's always a period after those first three numbers. And then it might be 111425 or 111426. Well, that might simply be a, that simple difference might be the difference between a full choke barrel on a shotgun and a modified choke barrel on a shotgun. I would dearly love if anybody out there has access to a set of Sears microfish from that time period, I would love to either beg, borrow, steal, or buy them off of you. Um, I'm sure they exist somewhere, 
I just don't know where. Some old gunsmith shop somewhere probably still has a set. I would love to get my hands on them and go through and do a full catalog restoration of Sears. So this is the beginning in a, in a long, we're going to do a lot of identification videos this winter. Um, you know, another one that we're probably going to work on some is Mossberg. A lot of Winchester, because that's a big collector's issue. A lot of Colt, probably. Um, the big, old, expensive stuff. Then we'll, we may do some stuff like Bullard and Evans and uh, some other stuff like that. But for the, for the time being, we're going to concentrate on Winchester and Marlin. And I will still do some, some new and unusual firearms as they come in. For instance, tomorrow... I have the Henry H001, which is the common 22 long rifle. I have two of those due in here tomorrow that are brand new. And I may go ahead and shoot one of those um, to, to put that, that model on video, although that's a fairly common model. Um, we're winding down the end of the year here in 2017, so I'm hesitant to bring too much in for stock. And of course, I'm hesitant to shoot a lot of anything new because then I have to sell it used and I don't make nearly as much money on it. Um, but I am going to have, probably right after the first of the year, intentions are to have an SRM shotgun in here and uh, you know some other things. So at any rate, the, the basic gist here is just to show you that even though it has a lever, it's not necessarily a lever action. And our, on our website, these are called falling blocks. Um, you know, Ruger, Winchester, Ballard, Stevens, uh, Remington had, I'm trying to think, yes, Remington did have an old falling block out there. Um, there's Farquharson, although we don't have those in there much because they're a custom-built firearm. But that's, that's what this is. This is just basically showing you a lever action actually ejects and loads a cartridge and cocks the action and almost all of them are repeaters um, you know anywhere from 4 to uh, 15, 16, 17 rounds. With that thank you for watching I uh, hope you learned something out of this and we're gonna start the next few videos like I said we're gonna start with the Winchester 1866 and the and probably the uh, Henry that preceded it and we're gonna work our way forward and I'll probably try to do two or three of the win well one or two of the Winchester lever actions per video but for now thanks for watching and if you uh, need to talk to me uh, we're getting enough comments now it's hard for me to keep up with them all and you know keep the comments clean um, I had a, a video that was posted a year and a half ago where I, I did some things and, uh, you know, they're just some pretty rude comments. And, you know, like everything else, I learn as the videos go along, too. So, you know, never claim to be a gunsmith, not a gunsmith, gun enthusiast, gun dealer, and the developer of the MyGunValues.com value page. Uh, and that, that that website's now been in the works and, and ongoing for nine years. So we're trying very, very hard to keep the pricing updated for you so everything is current value-wise. Thank you for watching, and if you have any comments or you need to see something, please visit the MyGunValues.com website and simply click on the, My, on the Contact Us page. Thank you for watching.